Now, let's talk about the Agent API, which we can use to build headless agents on the Agent Force platform. So, what are headless agents? Well, just like conversation based agents, headless agents are also service agents. The only difference is instead of user interacting with them directly through a chat, we invoke them programmatically using the agent API. You can think of it like this. Any third party application, maybe a Node.js application, a Java backend or even another Salesforce org can call this agent API, trigger the agent and receive a response back. Now you might ask what real use cases does this solve? So let's take a simple practical example. Imagine a customer is on your travel website booking a holiday package. While the customer is checking out, you might want to offer additional recommendation like add-on activities, hotel upgrades or special discounts based on their buying habits. Here, a headless agent can be triggered from the backend. It analyzes the customer's current selection, maybe look up offers stored in data cloud and generate smart suggestions. The response comes back to your application and then you can show these recommendation to the customer without them directly interacting with the agent. So the key point is headless agents run silently in the background. They do not chat with the user directly, but their responses powers your application to deliver personalized experience. And thanks to this agent API, any app, no matter which platform it is built on, can invoke these agents just like calling any other Salesforce API and use the response in real time. So with these headless agents, we open up a lot of powerful automations and personalization possibilities beyond just a chat window. I think it will be easy to understand this concept through an example. So here I have built a simple book library application. Ideally, this should have been a Node.js website, but just to keep things simple and focus on the concept, I have built it as an LWC component inside a Salesforce org. In this application, user can search for the books in the library, mark books as favorite and save them for easy access later. But here is an important point. This library does not contain all the books that the company actually offers. So here, if I show you, this has only 30 to 40 books of this company, but the complete list of book is stored in a master Salesforce org. So here I have another Salesforce org, which you can think of it as a master org. And this was like a subsidiary org of this Salesforce org. And here we have all the master book list. So here I have this PDF document, which is containing all the books that this company is offering. Offering. and this PDF is uploaded into data cloud because this master org has access to data cloud. So all of these unstructured data, ledger data, all of that is stored in the data cloud. And since they have access to data cloud, they can access all of these unstructured data. And similarly, in this master org, we also have built uh, this agent, which is library agent. The job of this agent is simple, recommend books based on the user's current books, preferred genre or languages. Now here is an important point. This agent currently lives in the master org, but our book library, which is in this org, is running in another Salesforce org or maybe even on a third party platform. So how do we make this agent work for our book library app? So this is exactly where the agent API comes in. When a user is browsing books in our app and shows interest in a particular genre or language, our application can call the agent API, invoke the recommendation agent, which is basically the library agent, which is currently hosted on the other Salesforce org and get back personalized book suggestion. These suggestions can then directly be displayed to the user without them even knowing that the logic is running in the another org. And here this agent is running in the back end. The agent is in the other org and this org is making a call out to that agent asking that this user has currently, you know, marked this book as a, uh, you know, favorite book because using this favorite icon, I can ma mark this book as a favorite. So this book title, this genre and this language can be passed to this agent, uh, the recommendation agent, and it will then look into this master book list and find all the relevant or recommended books that can be shown to this user and that's how in the real time from this org we will access this agent which will access company data which is residing in the salesforce objects or maybe in the unstructured data and generate a appropriate response send it back to this application and then this application can use that data to personalize the user response so let's just do that but before that if i show you this uh, component it's a very simple component it is showing 
showing all the books that this or currently have and if a user want to search they can search the books here like this and all of the books with that name will come up here and then they can get all the information about the book title uh, this is a dracula book the genre is horror and language is this and the price is this and then if they mark any of these book as favorite that is where we want to trigger our headless agent which is basically the agent in the other org passing the book title passing the book genre passing the book language and we want our library agent to look into all of the data sources whether it is in the salesforce objects or in the data data cloud in the pdf or in any other form and recommend us books that we can show to this user so for example i'm going to mark dune as a favorite book that i can do by using this star icon here and when i click on this what is going to happen is the customer is not aware but in the back end we have just invoked the headless agent the agent in the other org and now you see a recommendation come here so here it is saying that here are some recommended books similar to dune in the science fiction so if you see where is that dune book on yeah here it is so we marked dune as our favorite book and it was science fiction the language was english so so what we got the response as uh, here are some recommended books similar to dune in the science fiction genre and english language galactic wars now this galactic wars is actually not a book in this org so this org has very limited stock right now because this company does not send all of the books if people are not interested they won't send it but rather this is there in the master list so if you see here this was a science fiction so here if if I go to this master list, we see that Galactic Wars, which is uh, the genre is science fiction and language is English. This book is being recommended here. Uh, similarly, it is also showing this uh, Cyber Mind. Again, this book, these books are not here in this org. So if I search for it, these books are not here, but it is there in the master book list. So if I search here, yeah, here it is. Again, it is science fiction. The language is English. That's why this book has been recommended by our agent. And then I think it has recommended one more book, which is Lost Colony, because that's how I have trained the agent that you have to, you know, show two or three book only. I mean, it can actually find more books. But for this example, I just trained the agent to, you know, send two to three books only. So again here, if you see Lost Colony, again science fiction, language is English and price is $18 that's been shown here. Now what could happen next is you may have some buttons here where this customer can show interest into Galactic Wars and that is where the librarian of this org can raise a request to the master org saying that, you know, deliver this book to this library and that's how that book will be available in this org. Similarly, let's say that uh, maybe this one, it's a thriller book, Gone Girl. Let me mark this as favorite. Maybe I can close this and I'm going to mark Gone Girl as my favorite. Again, same thing is happening. The agent is going to be invoked, passing the current book that the user has selected, uh, the current uh, genre and the current language. And again, here are some recommended books similar to Gone Girl in the thriller suspense genre and English language, The Silent Lake. Again, these books are coming from the master book list because in this org i have a data library in that i have uploaded this pdf document and through that our agent has access to this master list so it can actually look for these books uh, passing the genre and the language and that's what it is displaying to this user so here you see that this user is not directly interacting with the agent so you know generally you will have your agents like this it's not like that uh, this user is just working this user is just going through the website you know clicking here and there and that is where you are invoking your agents in the back end the agents are working it is very similar to i'm asking this agent here can you recommend me some books which are very similar to let's say the hobbit so i'm not asking that i'm not initiating a conversation with the agent but it is doing the same thing and that is where it's a headless agent nobody is invoking it rather it has been invoke uh, based on clicks and based on different activity that the user is performing on the website so I hope you understood this use cases. Again, it's a very simple use case. This can be actually be very powerful because your agents are working in the back end. You can invoke one agent in one org or you can orchestrate it. Multiple agents can work together and, you know, respond back and you can use that response for better responses. So let's learn about this agent API and how to build these kind of solutions in our upcoming lectures.